welcome back to another video. So today I'm on my way to McLaren Manchester. So I've got the sat nav on, so if he starts talking, tough tits, it is what it is. Um, but it's like a, a secret private uh, day for the Driven Plus YouTube channel. And if you don't know Driven Plus, go and have a look at them. It's a way bigger channel than mine, obviously. I can review all sorts of cars over there, McLarens and Lamborghinis and all the fancy stuff. So yeah, they've invited us down to McLaren Manchester to have a look at all the new cars. Obviously, McLaren's brought out a pile of new cars recently with that new Artura, the 750S, and the new GTS thing. So I believe there's a Senna there, whatever. We'll have a look, we'll have a poke around, we'll try and get some videos. Um, so yeah, I'll see you there. So some quick updates on this car while we're at it. Um, as you'll probably have seen from a previous video, we've had some parts delivered, some splitters and diffusers and all that fun stuff. So In the project... Now, keep left to stay on East Lancashire Road, A580. Shush. The project is moving forward pretty uh, pretty rapidly now. We've just got to fit everything. Well, the next bit might be some maintenance, to be honest. The tracking feels out slightly. The wiper blades are goosed. So I think there's going to be some boring money spent on this car for a little bit. And then we'll be back to the fun stuff. So, I'll bring you back anyway once we're uh, once we're a bit closer to Manchester McLaren or McLaren Manchester, whichever. Road for three quarters of a mile. Sure, sure. Whichever you want to call it. Right, it's easy to be. So, we're nearly here, I believe. I think. This Your destination is, it. is on the left. Oh, yeah, so it is. So, this. McLaren and Rolls-Royce Manchester, as you can see. Huh, the car park isn't very big. I don't know if everyone's gonna fit to be perfectly honest. But anyway, we're here. So Rolls-Royce is fairly significant in Manchester. I don't know if people know this, but Manchester is where trying to park up straight but Manchester is where Rolls met Royce and if you're interested in that story I can tell you all about it another time because everybody seems to believe I'll get this camera for you man. everyone seems to believe they met at the Midland Hotel However, I don't think that's accurate. So if you want to do, if you want to see a video on that and where I think they met, let us know. To be honest, even if you don't let us know, I'm probably going to do a video on that anyway. Because I'm pretty certain they met at a different place. Uh, but anyway, that's not what we're here for today. Today is McLaren's, but we'll film a few Rolls Royces, right? I'll see you inside. Right, so I thought I'd get back to doing voiceovers again. I'll speak up a bit more this time because last time was a bit quiet. But yeah, this uh, first car is a 720S. I believe it's a second hand car. It was in a funny old man spec. And then straight onto the big hitter, the Senna. This is a customer's car, so it wasn't for sale. But it was incredible. Um, the detail just doesn't come over on camera on these. I never really got them until today when I've seen it with my own eyeballs and what a car it is and completely changed my opinion on these things. There's so much detail that you just cannot get in photos and videos. So really, really impressed with that. Not that I can afford one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then this was one of the new Archiaras, quite difficult to see in black. This was a 720S in a really, really vivid orange. Again, the camera doesn't do it justice. Well, that was a, a beautiful car uh, in real life. And then this just cost four and a half million pounds. It's the uh, new Pagani Utopia or whatever it's called. This, I believe, was a, a 600LT, 
uh, end alert 570s. Again, the orange was really, really vivid in real life, especially under the showroom lights, but it doesn't really come across on video. And then this was the new 750. So this was called Tokyo Cyan. And it's, uh, as you can see, compared to the other blue, it's not quite a blue color. It's like a turquoise, really, with the gold wheel. So then we went outside, and there's a pink brand new Rolls Royce Scepter. That's electric, doesn't make any noise. So then that's Andy's 720. This was a M4 GTS. If you don't know what those are, they're worth a Google. That's not just an M4, it's a very special car. And then this is Max's M4 CS, which is almost as special, but maybe just not quite. An RS6. And this guy I spent quite a bit of time talking to with his uh, GTR, he's lovely. This apparently is a really limited edition Apex uh, 600 LT. I don't know anything about those, so I'll be Googling those later. And then this was Troy 750, a 718 GT4. Then my car. This was Nash's GT3 Touring, more on that later, but I loved it. This is the two-wheel drive 580 Huracan, Stu's 993. I believe it's a Carrera 4, but it's got a few bits on it, I think, like the turbo spoiler, whatever, it's a beautiful car anyway. And the backs of all the cars. So this, he actually went home and then fitted a Performante type spoiler. So yeah, Nash's car, really, really subtle. If you don't know your cars, you might mistake it for a Carrera, but believe me, it is not. The uh, center lock wheels give it away, and obviously towards the snorkels and stuff. And then this turned up, a brand new GT3 RS. It stole the, uh, the day. Uh, you can find him on Instagram. That's essentially his Instagram name there on his number plate. I don't know how much of these, half a million pounds, something like that, but whatever. It was drawing quite the crowd, as you can see. Pretty much everyone came from inside the McLaren showroom just to look at this. Right, so there we go, that was a, that was a nice day out, wasn't it? Looking at McLarens and Rolls Royces and whatever else is in the car park. So yeah, so Nash's uh, GT3 Touring obviously was beautiful, wasn't it? Um, we've got to look all, all over that, and it's the dream, it's the dream car. But we're a long way off, aren't we? So, some of the nice cars, as you've seen, the RS, um, lots of 600 LTs and that sort of stuff. Um, so, another good day out. So, again, thanks to Drew and Plus and Max for inviting us down. And I'm sure Troy had a lot to do with it, since he just bought that brand new 750. So uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. We'll be out with them boys quite a bit over the summer. Um, if this is the sort of thing you like, let us know by liking the video. We prefer the uh, the Cayman stuff, so I'll let it be known, I suppose. But that's it, right? I will see you uh, in the next video. I think we're going to the Cars and Coffee tomorrow as it happens. There's going to be a lot of videos in quick succession, which makes a change. So we'll see you. I don't know what, what the schedule of these videos is, but in my world, tomorrow. Bye-bye.